over a dozen years ago, I was shooting a short film with a friend of mine, and uh, on the day I remember saying to him, did you ever have the feeling or the sense that you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing? You're exactly where you are in the universe. Everything is right. You're supposed to be there at that point in time doing this. I had that feeling all that time ago. And, uh, you know, as I, as I move forward and, you know, making films and telling stories, I do it without any kind of, seriously, at least I hope I can come off like this, like, without any air of importance or I'm just doing my part, my simple part in the whole big thing. And, uh, yeah, and so now as I sit here, and we're uh, preparing to do these next stages of it, it just was a time of reflection for me, and uh, going back, thinking about the journey that brought me to this point today. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's without air of importance or significance of myself, but more so, uh, significance in, in everybody's part and my part in that greater whole to, to bring the story to, to fruition. So I'll take you on a nickel tour and show you around. Imagine we're in a house on a secluded lake, the house is on stilts, and uh, there's light trickling through the, the cracks in the walls. But really, we're inside the building. Oh, I can't tell you that. I shouldn't be telling you. See, I'm telling you secrets already that I shouldn't be saying. I better shut up and just show you a little bit of what's going on so you can pan, pan around, look at me, and uh, see, it's a house within a house. Woo! But it definitely won't look like that on the day. This is a little bit of movie magic, all right? Let's go on. Okay, you got your nickel? Alright, we're starting our tour. It's going to be a short tour because I'm not going to show you too much. I'm just going to show you just enough to intrigue you and uh, get you thinking of where we are. Uh, can you imagine? I mean, imagine we're in a whole different space and a whole different world and uh, you don't hear crew talking behind it. The wind is blowing. They're pumping air conditioning into this building because we don't have air conditioning. But uh, let's take a look around me here. Go ahead. Look at this cinder block wall. It's actually inside, but we're making it look like it's outside. And we'll take a look at the hallway for just a second. And uh, that red curtain, of course, plays prominently in another place, and we'll go there now. Okay, we're going to be entering a work zone, so you should have your hard hat on and, and your toes covered. You know, it's a work zone. Take a look. <laughs> Even pan left and show me. That's Philip Hearn. He's the director Wait. of photography. I know him. What? Awesome. Hello. It's good to have you here, sir. Thank you. All right. My pleasure. All right. Come through the curtain. Watch your step. Watch your step. Watch your step. Hello. <laughs> Okay, let me show you the uh, curtain that I'm talking about in the other place. Oh, by the way, uh, don't look in there. No, no, I said don't, don't look in. I'm, you're not supposed to look in there. You understand? Don't look. All right, one quick look, just a peek. Okay, that's enough. Hey, you having fun? See this curtain? Does that, does that tell you anything? Not at all. <laughs> all right. Okay, we'll pick this up when we have some something else to tell you. But that's all for now. Come on, you know, 
What is it? Yeah. Alex passed uh, through the door. So if he saw a white man standing outside the door, he's kind of know who he is. He's a Frank, whatever you place call him. What? Falan. Falan? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Falan. I, I said Ferengi, it's like the Star Trek. Yes. Ringo. <laughs> That's right. I don't know, it's a Star Trek guy. Um, all right. We got one. We did. We do. We do. So there is a bit of, so he get he gets up, he greets them, they sit down, they chit chat across the table. Oh, look at your family. Yeah, I got a family. Then they get up and goes back to the door, locks the door to get out. Yep. Well, I'll walk through the with the actors, but yeah, we could we could be looking this way. I don't know that I should say that on, on camera. Body double. Somebody's acting in there for our star. And it's kind of like a Joey and Friends moment. He should be clenching his butt cheeks because he's nervous. I should say that. That's not true. Built a tree. We built a tree. Didn't grow a tree. We built a tree. Almost as tall as that white thing back there on the outside to match the tree that's on the outside of the house. So. Tony, script supervisor extraordinaire. That's who that is. on stilts by the water and uh, if it hadn't been a bright sunny day on the day that we shot the exterior of that then we would have played this really cool cinematic trick which I mentioned earlier but uh, just kind of alluded to but the idea is you put you get these water troughs and put the India ink inside the water trough and you put water in there too and because the India, India ink coagulates then if you mix that up and it just kind of spreads the, the stuff out then the light catches the shimmer and bounces the shimmer back so it gives the illusion that you're over water but what you need is a bright sunny day to give that illusion and since we've already shot the scene uh, where our hero arrives at this house uh, then you know we're really looking at a different look and feel it's got to be, it's got to be realistic. So the exterior of that house, it's got to match the interior of the house in look and feel and light, uh, and ambient light that comes through the cracks in the walls. So the thing that I alluded, that I, I mentioned way earlier, I talked about that sharing light and how we're going to do that effect. I'm going to make a modification on that now, and just so we can make this uh, cut together with the other piece, and just make it real. It's all about reality, even though we're, we're making, playing make-believe, it's all about truth and reality. We don't want the audience to be separated from the picture uh, because they can't believe what they're seeing. You know, you, you, uh, the idea is to remove that, that veil of sorts. And, uh, allow them to step into the world and believe they're there too with us. Still will play in this area, Alex Lost. What else comes up and looks at this world. Yes. Right. Yeah, so I'll, I'll build it over here. So, oh, yes, sir. so we should like the crane should be like built. Yes,
And cut! 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 Okay, print that. And uh, keep cop. One more. Go ahead again, please. Another one, same thing. He cop. <laughs> That's a uh, tie for do it again.